Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Chet Ubecho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a Chetatorial. Chicago may lose its only intercity bus terminal as Greyhound's lease is set to expire. This threatens access for over 500,000 passengers who rely on the service. Other bus lines like Flixbus and Barron's could also be impacted. Without a terminal, riders would lack essential services like shelter and restrooms. The closure could disrupt nationwide routes as curbside pickups often don't serve smaller towns. Advocates call for a public terminal, emphasizing the critical role buses play in transportation for vulnerable populations. The city is exploring alternatives, but has not secured a solution yet. In other developments, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg's net worth has grown by $73.4 billion in 2024, reaching $201 billion, making him the fourth richest person globally. He joins Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and Bernard Arnault in the exclusive $200 billion club. Zuckerberg's wealth increase is largely driven by Meta stock, which surged 64% this year. Meta, known for Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, saw its shares hit a record high of $568.31. At MetaConnect 2024, Zuckerberg highlighted the rapid growth of Meta AI nearing 500 million monthly active users. Other tech figures like NVIDIA's Jensen Huang and Oracle's Larry Ellison also saw significant wealth growth. In other updates, Choi Soon-Hwa, 80, is competing in the Miss Universe Korea pageant defying traditional age expectations. The contest lifted its age restrictions in 2024, allowing Choi to become the oldest ever participant. She hopes to inspire others by proving that age doesn't limit health, beauty, or ambition. Choi began modeling at 72 after financial struggles forced her out of retirement, and she has since appeared in major fashion shows and magazines. Competing against 31 contestants, she will participate in a talent segment where she will sing. The winner will represent South Korea at the Miss Universe final in Mexico in November. She has strong support from her family, who are proud of her achievements. In another update, a single-engine plane crash killed multiple people Saturday afternoon at the Wright Brothers National Memorial's first flight airport, according to the National Park Service. The crash occurred around 5 p.m. As the plane attempted to land, eyewitnesses reported. Following the crash, the aircraft caught fire, which was extinguished by the Kill Devil Hills Fire Department and other local teams. The airport has been closed until further notice, and the Wright Brothers National Memorial will also remain closed Sunday. Both the National Transportation Safety Board and the Federal Aviation Administration have been notified and will investigate the incident. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale!